All right, welcome to episode two of Invest Info. And this episode, we're going to talk about price versus value, right? And when it comes to price versus value in investing, um, we here we're trying to train value investors. We're not looking at market prices. I mean, what I when I say by we're not looking at uh, market prices, when you do your valuation of a company or an investment, you you don't care about the short term movement of the price of the investment, whether it be stocks, real estate, gold, um, anything you see of value, if you know the true value of it, the short term price um, <clears throat> won't affect your judgment. In fact, if you value something at a certain price and it's under the, 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 the current price of the item is way undervalued, then you want to buy more of it, right? A uh, prime example, you know, today and yesterday, um, when I went to uh, pick up some salad, there was a salad that's normally going for ten forty nine, but it was on special for seven twenty nine. So I bought more of it. Today, a specific brand of kombucha that which normally goes for four dollars and fifty five cents was a special deal. You got it for fifty cents. So I bought more of it. Yet when it comes to stock prices. Human emotions is actually quite the opposite when it comes to investing, you know, at least for the retail investor. When the retail investor invests, uh, by the way, that's you and myself and the majority of people. When we invest, you know, short term price could manipulate your judgment. But if you under, if you understand the value of a company that you're investing in, because stocks are not lottery tickets they're not scratch offs. It's not a casino. You're buying part ownership of a business. When you do the valuation of a business, the short-term price shouldn't affect you. If you bought your home, when Warren Buffett always uses use this example, when you buy it, when you bought your home, you know you might have put fifty thousand down. Then you find out a couple months later that you know somebody else is putting thirty thousand dollars down on the house, and you know it's, it's it's down a bit cheaper. You don't go and sell your entire house and move your family out to try to you know you don't relocate. For a twenty thousand dollar difference, right? You just wait patiently because you know eventually, you know the the value of your home will appreciate in price. It's the same thing when it comes to investing. If you understand the value of what you own, short term price manipulation would not mess with you, would not uh, skew your judgment. Now, as um, the channel grows and we're going to be doing more lessons, I'm going to speak about, you know, how big fishes, hedge funds, and institu- institutions. Um, how they uh, move market price and what that does to the re- retail investor. It by the end of these uh, lessons, I'd hope to um, what we hope to gain is educational um, insight on on understanding what you own when it comes to stock investing. You know, um, today when I picked up the kombucha for fifty three cents, people in the store didn't know what it, what it was. You know, they didn't understand that this thing going for fifty cent is a huge steal, but they had no idea of it. They didn't have, the, they don't understand the value of it. So it makes you wonder if, if I paid 55 cents and normally goes for four fifty-five, then what's the true value of this thing? If they're still able to sell it at 50 cents and make a profit, you know? So normally people tend, especially in stock investment, they tend to buy things when it's high, the retail investor, you know, and you know, they see green, green means go, and we're living in an age where everything is given instant to you. You know, whether it's your food or instant gratification from social media, you want an instant reaction, right? So they feel uh, the retail investor, if, if you know their if their um, position is red for a day, two days, three three months, six months, a year, that they made a bad decision because the the price is red. But really, if the price is red and you did your homework, you would actually want to buy more of it. Just like any other thing, stocks work the same way. Real estate works the same way. You want to buy more real estate when the prices are low, right? So in common lessons, we're going to understand how to value a company. All right. If in, in layman's term, if you if you know if you don't want to go through that actual process, you could search, you could Google the current ticker symbol and type in book value for share, book value per share. And Google will give you some uh, answer for the near for right now. But when you when you truly do your own valuations, Prime example, let's take uh, Seritage Growth Properties. The ticker symbol is SRG. And you have Rule 1 investors, as they call them, uh, value investors, such as Phil Town, Warren Buffett, Monash Bride, they're in it. 
they got in around seven. The stock shot up to 21 bucks. They didn't sell. Most people would say, oh, I made three times my money. I'm getting out. Those guys did not sell. They're thinking uh, long term, right? And also, in uh, further lessons, we're going to uh, tell you why it's better to look at an investment with a long term um, approach when you make the investment. Because if you care about short term price manipulation, you know, you're just going to be getting in and out of stocks to the point that you know now you're trading and not investing, right? And even if you have a long-term view, you will be making, there's ways to make money while you wait when you understand the value of a company. But going back to SRG, uh, Heritage Growth Properties, Warren Buffett is in it, uh, one of the greatest, if not the greatest investor of all time, turning Berkshire Hathaway from $15 a share to $355,000 a share currently as of September. Uh, 2020. So that's over a million percent return. Uh, Monash Parbrai, uh, again, Phil Town turning a thousand dollars to a million dollars in five years. These guys are value investors. They don't care about price. They care about value. And they're in Seritage, right? Now you understand that Seritage um, is going to be uh, facing um, bumpy times, right? Because uh, the real estate sector took a hit. It's a, it's a real estate investment trust, right? Uh, stock. But when crises cause um, huge discounts on prices, that's when value investors and crisis investors see opportunity. And if you look at Seritage, it, it shot up June 8th to uh, 21, and it went back down. And it's trading at uh, about like $12 now. But Phil Town, he values this company at 140 bucks in 10 years. That's his assumption. But that's how these guys think. And I want to, um, within these lessons, have you think like they think, because when you think like they think, you will find solid investments. You would find uh, stocks at great values and short-term price manipulation won't affect your judgment. So we're going to be going into value. We're going to be going into price. Um, and, the, and soon I'm going to be putting up in the background my current investment uh, since I've started and, 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 and bring these tickers up as I speak, but this is just an introduction to value versus, uh, price. We're going to be value investors when it comes to the stock market, real estate, or any particular investment you want. You know, if you see a bike, um, that you, you know, again, going back to the delivery, uh, analogy, if you, if you see a great bike that, you know, and understand the bike and, and, and how, and how sturdy it is and, and what it can do you know, you want it on sale. So that's the same thing on us. You know, we, <laughs> you know, it's, it's contrarian, but those, those are, that's the only way you'd be at the crowd is to really, you know, almost invest in downtrends. You know, right now, everybody wants Apple. Everybody wants Tesla. But four years ago, nobody wanted Apple and nobody really wanted Tesla. Right. But now that it's overpriced trading at well over price to uh, over a thousand uh, price to price to earnings ratio, everyone wants it, right? Because it's green, 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 and they're just buying it to think it's going to sell it for somebody else for higher, but they don't understand the value of the underlying stock, the, the underlying asset, right? So for the lessons, we're going to teach value versus um, price. We're going to show uh, certain particular investments while we go with the value um, of, a, of, the, of, that, of that company and how price manipulate how price is manipulated how to have it go up how to have it go how how they have it go down and why that shouldn't affect us you know because our 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 approach to investing should be um buying an buying an underlying asset and have as as Kevin O'Leary says touching the interest never the, the principal all right we should be seeing our investments as meat on a spittle dripping cash. And we only want to touch the cash, right? We don't want to touch the primary principle. Okay, so this is a brief introduction. We're going to be doing more lessons, hopefully, on price versus value.